anthrax anthrax is caused by bacillus anthracis it is gram positive rod shaped bacteria anthrax is zoonosis which means there are animal reservoirs and they are domestic animals like cows sheep and horses bacteria are excreted out from body fluids of the animal like urine and feces and this vegetative bacteria they sporulate in the environment spores are infective form for humans infective dose may be as small as 1 to 3 spores there are three types of anthrax cutaneous anthrax pulmonary anthrax and intestinal anthrax let's talk about cutaneous anthrax it is also known as malignant pustule or hyde porter disease patient comes with painless papules which later form ulcers which is known as ischer formation 10 to 20 percent people get with fetal septicemia treatment ciprofloxacin or doxycycline can be given orally for 7 to 10 days let's talk about pulmonary anthrax it is also known as wool sorter's disease it is due to inhalation of spores it can cause hemorrhagic pneumonia symptoms like dyspnea hemoptosis and chest pain 80 to 90 percent untreated people can get with fetal septicemia let's talk about treatment three drugs can be given ciprofloxacin meropenem and clindamycin or we can give linezoid or rifampicin for 60 days let's talk about intestinal anthrax which is very rare type of anthrax it is due to ingestion of poorly cooked meat it can cause hemorrhagic enteritis and pharyngeal exudate 25 to 60 percent people can get with septicemia treatment same as pulmonary anthrax how can we diagnose people specimen which is used like exudate or swab sputum or stools also we can do gram staining culture and serology molecular method like pcr which is most sensitive method let's talk about vaccine anthrax vaccine at sop is used the strain like stern strain is used in this vaccine let's talk about post exposure prophylaxis three drugs can be given like doxycycline or ciprofloxacin or amoxicillin this drug should be given for 60 days